I was just a youngster then, um, but I remember the curfew in that uh, we were, me and my friends were planning to go down to the Lake Washington at newly created pontoon bridge and I was forbidden to go there because it was outside the uh, curfew range. Um, I remember the FBI coming to the house to search the house and my mother and I were the only ones there and she spoke very little English and didn't really understand what, what they were there for. Um, but then they took my dad away and we visited him at the immigration jail. And the um, next thing we knew, he was on his way to Missoula, Montana, which just left uh, my brother as the oldest sibling. And he had just finished college to uh, take care of the business that he had. Uh, it didn't, taking care of business didn't last very long because we got the notice that we had to leave. Um, but he was the head of the family at that time in the absence of my father. I remember we had to sell everything that we could and that the price of some things were very low, like a piano that my sister had sold for something like five dollars and a, a set of new china ware that my mother had uh, some person was trying to really bargain it down with her and she finally said she's not going to sell it and she broke them all.